Lights, camera, action. With Jason Gray, here on CHBN. Hello, welcome to Lights, Camera, Action. Here with me, Jason Gregg, and my co-host for this week, Tim Seifert. Hello, 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 film lovers. Yeah, CHBN 100.8 FM and online and in association with Merlin Cinemas. Um, two special guests in the studio today. We have Bailey Rogers and Mal Haywood, who have come to talk about their new short film that they've been involved in. But first, let's start off with a track, and we will talk to them after this. Two special guests in tonight, we have Mel Hayward and Bailey Rogers, who've recently been involved in a short film called Marbles. So hello Bailey. Hello. And hello Mel. Hello. Um, can I just say that um, Bailey is seven years old. Aww. Oh, everybody. <laughs> so Bailey, how long have you been acting? Uh, four years. Four, four well, years already? I think already. four, wasn't it? Yeah. So you're seven, you're seven years old and you've been acting for four years already? Yep. Wow, you've been a busy boy. What yep. kind of What kind of things have you been doing, acting-wise? Well... Do you remember the first thing you did? It was something called Stories from Afar, wasn't Stories it? Stories from Afar, then I did Captain Kerno's Timeline, then... And I then you've done some adverts, haven't you? Yeah, I did... I do believe that you're actually on the cinema screen at the moment. Yeah, that was my at Dales. So it's Merlin Cinemas coming up before the film. Yep, that was the Dales advert. Dales advert. Do you have a, have a special it. guest with you on your Dales advert? Who who is it that sits next to you? Who's very special to you? Uh, my dog. <laughs> What's your dog's name? Conker. Conker. So, Mel, you were producer on on Marvel. I was indeed. And also actress as well playing a very small part of um, Jamie's mum who is played by Bailey which yep. is quite good because you are actually his, his real mum I am it kind of helps it kind of helps yeah. <laughs> what so, was the story of Marbles if I can ask can you answer that one Bailey well it was about a little boy whose dad was in a hospital and his dad wasn't very well so the nurse went up to him and said you've lost your marbles so Jamie went on a hunt to find marbles for his dad. On a hunt to find his dad's lost marbles. Aww. Yep. Oh bless. And what was it like? Like filming it? It was, was really it a fun good. Experience? Did you how did, how did you travel around on your adventure to find your marbles? Uh, it was really good. I tr travelled mostly on my bike. On your bike? Oh, I bet that was fun. Yep. What kind of bike have you got? Is it a big uh, racing bike or a mountain bike? I think it's a, a motorbike. No, no. Like <laughs> I think it'll be a BMX. A BMX sounds like an aeroplane. That did. That was very strange. Okay, that's very weird. <laughs> and a BMX bike. Yep. Oh wow! Did you get to go really fast? Uh, yeah, reasonably fast. Yeah. So what happens on your um, adventure to find the marbles? Where do you go? Where do you go first? Um, first I go to a shop in Porth Town. Go to a shop in Porth Town. Yep. And then where do you go after that? Do you remember? Uh, no. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit of self promotion tonight because I actually directed Marbles. I know mm. it's shameful. <laughs> so, so the big question the is, question Bailey, is, yeah. what was he like as a director? He is very good. Ah. Oh. Has to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he is the I best like, director I've ever worked with. Wow. Well, there you He's are. worked with quite a few. He right has here. worked with a few because yeah. I believe you did an advert for First Great Western Railway. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a big crew on that, wasn't there? About yep. 20 people. Massive Very. crew, wasn't it? And what, what was he like as a director? Uh, he was good. He was a good director. <laughs> not, not, not as, as good, good as, as Jason, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should you hope to do a bit more acting in the future? Yeah, I do hope so. Do you? What kind of role would you like to play? Or what movie would you like to uh, be in? Well, I'd... I would like to be in um, another Harry Potter episode. Excellent. You're playing a wizard? Yep. Excellent. Because we I've... just played the Harry Potter theme tune, didn't we? Yeah, and either a wizard or a dark arts teacher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you know any spells? Uh, Wingardium Leviosa. Um... Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Expelliarmus. What, what do these spells do? Uh, Expelliarmus turn um, just knocks you back. Um, Wingardium Leviosa uh, makes people float up in the air. Woo! I'd like, I'd, I'd, I'd like to be able to do that one. Yeah. That sounds pretty and you've actually got a special wand, haven't you? Yeah. Where um, did you get it? 
I went to Harry Potter um, film studios um, in London and I went in and saw um, some very exciting things. And what did you see? Uh, I saw the moving snake door in uh, oh, wow. Chambers of Secrets. Wow. Um, I saw Ollivanders in... Like the wand shop? Yeah, in... Is that Di- where you got your wand from? No. No. <laughs> I got my wand from the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they come from Ollivanders and then they put them oh, in. Oh, that must be Because they don't it. want people to miss them on the way out. So I think yeah. that's where they, they really yeah. come from. And I saw Gringotts. And what, what's Gringotts? I forgot. It's the bank of Harry Potter and Harry Potter gets the Philosopher's Stone, which Hagrid hides from him, and Harry gets all his money. Woohoo! <laughs> It sounds a fab day out. Yep. So what, what other little bits do you remember from um, studios? I remember... Is there a big bus there that I believe? Yeah, there was the night bus. Night we get, bus. got to see Hedwig. What, the Hedwig? <laughs> the Hedwig. What, like a, wow. is it, what, a toy one? No, the real Hedwig. Yeah, when we went, it was a special occasion, wasn't yep. it? It was the feathers and flight season. So it's actually the real owl. They had quite a few Harry owls, Potter. didn't they? Yep. They had some down... Um, in Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. And they had... Where was Hedwig? Can you remember? Hedwig was outside Harry Potter's front step. Mm. Yeah, he was sitting on Privet Drive sign, wasn't he? Yep. So, Bailey, if you went to Hogwarts, what house would you be in? Either... Maybe either Gryffindor or Slytherin. Oh, I'd, I'd, wow. I'd be in Slytherin. Yeah. Oh, no, what it's got to be Gryffindor. I, I think Slytherin, yeah. They, they seem to, uh, they always seem to have something up their sleeve. I think know? they'd be more fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about you, Mel? Oh, it's got to be Gryffindor, isn't it? So why isn't anybody going for Hufflepuff or the other one? Because they're the Which kind is... of ones that you forget about Which a bit. Which is the other one? <laughs> Gryffindor. Ravenclaw. 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 Yeah. Gryffindor's basically the popular one. And it's, yeah. a, it's a bit goody-goody, really, isn't it? That's Absolutely. what I think about Slytherin. Mm. <laughs> But well, you could do your hair a bit like Mal- Malfoy, though, couldn't you, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Got so the beautiful who, who's blonde the head locks. Of the Slytherin. Uh, Is it Snape? Snape. Professor Snape. Yeah, we've just read the book, haven't we? Harry yep. Potter. That was my really bad impression of Alan Rickman. Are <laughs> we doing Alan Rickman off today? Mr. Potter. Where is John McLean? <laughs> I just mixed two movies. Die hard. It sounded more like the elephant. Oh dear. <laughs> a little bit, doesn't it? I am not an animal. I was trying. How about you, Mel? Are you going to get in on the no. elephant off? I, I don't think so. Harry Potter. What about a Dobby impression, Bailey? I'm Dobby. <laughs> that was just brilliant. I think, that just, that I think just Bailey wins. The contest right there. I can't do Dobby. Um, can you do any other uh, movie impressions, Bailey? Uh, I can do Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> you look like Jaws at the moment. Does he <laughs> growl, does he? <laughs> what about, can you do Yoda from Star Wars? Mm. I am Yoda. Size buses that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very young Yoda, but I, I can definitely do you. What about, um, who's that character in Star Wars Episode 1, which people don't really like? Animated character. What's his name? Jar Jar Jam Jar Head. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks. That's it. Jar Jar Binks is my name. And, I, I know <laughs> That's some, a bit yoder I know someone else who can do a good Jar Jar. Mr. Jar Jar Binks, how rude. No? Mr. Jar Jar Binks and Mr. How rude. There you go. Wow. <laughs> it's a hidden talent. Really what can I say? Excellent. So, Bailey, so is Harry Potter your favourite film of all time? Yes. Which one do you like the best? Uh, it's you've only seen how many have you seen? Two. You've seen you've one seen and two, two okay. haven't you? Because you're seven. Yeah. Yeah. Course, yeah. The others a are a bit, little bit scary. They do get a bit more mature. Yeah. As they go on, don't they? Just a bit dark. A bit dark. Yeah. <laughs> we like to keep they keep things happy and light, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So have you got any other favourite films, Bailey? Uh, well, I do like a bit of Star Wars. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who's your favourite Star Wars character? Uh, don't say Jar Jar Binks. Anakin. <laughs> Anakin. Yeah. Is that because you look a little bit like the young Anakin Skywalker? Isn't yeah. And what are those little yellow men that you like on that film? Uh, is it Despicable Me? Yeah, Despicable Me as well. Are they called Minions? Mi- minions. Minions, yep. <laughs> and That's is there funny. a particular song from that film that you like? Uh, yeah. Do you remember what it's called? Uh, happy. Happy. Should we play it? Yes, okay, please. This is from Bailey. 
And we've all just been dancing around the studio there to happy. It's a good one. It's been a party. <laughs> uh huh. So guys, uh, yeah, thank you for coming in. It's been really good to have you here. Um, you. Yes, you listen to Lights, Camera, Action on CHBN. It's just approaching 23 minutes past eight on this Monday evening. Um, so Bailey, what, what have you got, uh, what are you doing next in your big acting career? Uh, Any plans? Uh, no. It's going to no. take it easy. I, I would suggest yeah. sort of take some time out. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 10 years. Contemplate. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, <laughs> Reflect on Isn't that what that so last director yeah. said, that Jason Gregg? Did he say you'll work with you in another ten years? Yeah. <laughs> you. Well, you know, I don't like to use the same actor again and again and again. Oh, yeah, so in Indonesia. about ten in about <laughs> ten years we'll be doing um, Marbles Two probably. Marbles Two. <laughs> oh, I to Gotta have actually. a sequel. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Me neither. <in> that. <laughs> Are you back to school? In September? Uh, yeah, in about two and a half weeks. What's yeah. your favourite subject in school? Uh, it has to be art. Art, good. Good answer. So what do your friends at school think about you doing acting? Do they know? Um, not really. No. I wonder if any any of them have seen your adverts well, at the Merlin Cinemas over the summer holidays. Maybe. But um, there's one person who in particular knows loads about my acting. It's um, one of my teachers, my teaching assistant, Mrs Clapton. Do you want to say hello? Hello. Hello, Mrs Clapton. <laughs> <laughs> what does she think of your acting? Uh, she thinks it's really good. You're very good. For your age, since you're only seven yeah. years old. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Pull at the heartstrings a bit, don't you, in your acting? Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of um, the kid out of Jerry Maguire. Oh. Hang on, yeah. Put these on. He's <laughs> giving him Jerry Maguire yeah. kid. Jason's giving him his glasses. Oh, we'll have to put a picture of that online yeah. later, I think. There he is. They're not, they're not quite going on with the headphones on, but you, but you see? Oh, yeah. There he is. Yeah, there he very is. cute. Yeah. We all know what happened to that kid, don't we? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad, nothing bad, he just <laughs> he <grew> doesn't look <laughs> good, he really grew up, yeah. Like what happens to most child actors, yeah. they grow up. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Should we give those back? He's looking like he's struggling now, Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see anything without my glasses on, <laughs> unfortunately. So Mel, what, how was it like um, producing the film with your son involved? Did you find it easy that you had that connection that you could... Yeah, it was, this one was quite easy because... There was quite a lot of times where it was filming just Bailey on his own or yeah. Bailey with maybe one or two other characters at a time. So um, being involved in that was reasonably easy as long as he behaved himself. But yeah. generally he did, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, putting it all together was... It was, it was a, over quite a few months in the end, wasn't it? Just um, yeah, quite special. trying to yeah, just trying to get everyone involved um, to get together, really, for filming. I think Bailey lost filming. a couple of teeth. He did! So yeah, editing became, the uh, yeah. yeah. Was that a bit of a continuity? It's kind of like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quickly look back on the footage and it was like, oh, did he open his mouth at any point during that first lot of footage? And thankfully he hadn't. So we never saw the two teeth yeah. in there. Because on day one of the shoot, he had, was it like a little spot or a little cold spot on <laughs> He did. He, he, had, he, so he suffers with a tiny there. bit of eczema. When we did the last stuff in August. So yeah, we had to, I uh, had a little um, lipstick pencil, which I had to keep uh, putting back yeah. on your mouth, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, it was sort of like makeup. And so. then we had issues with your hair growing didn't we yeah and i had to keep trying to trim it back to the same length yeah. which was a little bit of an issue so towards the end we just left your helmet on didn't we yeah <laughs> you, did you also do some stunt work on this film uh, yeah Sorry. i had to jump into it well i fell off my bike because wow. some flies were getting in my way and bugs <laughs> so then i ride one-handed my handle suddenly turned then i um fell into the puddle and how many times did that mean director make you do that, Bailey? Uh, probably about five times. I think it, probably I think it was, was seven, yeah. but to be honest, you got, <laughs> got it on the first take, Bailey. I was just in, enjoying watching you falling into the puddle. <laughs> oh, you did very well, didn't you? Yeah. Is that a bit mean? A little. Yeah. He's a pro. <laughs> he can take it as pro. Yeah. Now, um, anyone listening tonight, if you actually want to watch Marbles yourself, you can do so. Um, if you go onto the Lights, Camera, Action Facebook page, it's on there for you to watch. Perfect. Yep. See Bailey in action. Absolutely. Yeah. There you go. Well, we're going to play one more track now before we say goodbye yep. to the guys. Um, another track, Bailey, I'll let you pick. Uh, can, can we play um, Muppets, Am I a Man or a Muppet? 
Muppets, am I a man or am I a Muppet? Should we, should yep. we sing along to this one? No. <laughs> I think I think we should. I'm going to bring your mic in later on so we can join in. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, maybe. Okay. Is man or Muppet from the Muppets movie? Am I? No, am I a Muppet? Am I a Muppet? Randy, very manly Muppet. Very, very manly Muppet. Muppet. My Muppet! Am I a man? I am a man. My man that makes me a Muppet of a man. A Muppet of a man. That was Man or Muppet from the 2011 Muppet movie. Beautiful singing from Bailey. Have you got a favourite Muppet character, Bailey? Uh, I do like um, the little um, Mimi thing that always gets blowed up. Which one is that? Beeper. Oh, Beep. Beaker. Beaker. Beep. One seven Beep. Beaker. Yeah, that one. <laughs> it's that one. So you weren't listening the other week because you would have been tucked up in bed, but me and me and Tim did our basically it was like the Muppet Show, wasn't it? Yeah. For a bit. Well, I can only do one. We lost yeah. control. We Which one's Jason good at? Can you remember? Uh, he, Jason's good at uh, Kermit. Okay, you're um, you're listening to lights, camera, action. Um, here on um, CHP and one hundred point eight FM and online. Um. Also, in association with Merlin Cinemas. <laughs> Impressive, yeah. This is the best one. You're too good at that. You are too good. It's the actions that go with it. I love it. Embodies the character. I go. I disappear. That's flawless Swedish, by the way. Can you do any Muppet impressions, Bailey? What about Miss Piggy? Uh, no, I can do Mimi. Me, 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 It's very good. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sad to say that um, it's time for you to go now, isn't it, Bailey? No. Yeah, bedtime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the life of, a, of an yeah. actor, I'm afraid. You know, you've got to get yeah. your early nights in. Yeah. You're beauty sleep, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what are you up to tomorrow? Do you know? Uh, Beach day? Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 That weather holds out. Eh? Lay back. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys, for coming in. Thank you for having us. It's yeah. an absolute pleasure to see you both. And Bailey, you're, you're just amazing. Seven years old. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lead in the film. So thank please you. do check out Marbles, which is available on the Facebook page. Or you can also Google uh, www.cheeseandpineapple.org.uk. Yep. And then you can see me in action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Self-promotion there for you. Yeah. <laughs>